All right, last part. Since I have the hashtag grid right in the surface of my game board here, just kept it right to the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching my 3D coils to the surface of my game board itself. Now, I want these to bake together as a single unit. So basically I want these 3D coils to bake as part of my, my game board here. So I'm going to do what's called scoring, slipping, and smoothing my clay. I'm gonna use the fork here to score or create score marks on the back of my coil. Okay, so it kind of looks roughed up a little bit like that. I'm also going to use my fork to create my scratch marks or my score marks where I want to attach my coil. I'm going to use a little bit of water in my finger, just a small amount, on my game board and also on the coil itself. Okay. And then I am going to place it on that line right there. Now at this point, this will not bake together. The last part of my process is I have to smooth out the seam. Okay, so what do I mean by that? If I turn this toward you all, you'll notice that there is a line that separates one piece of clay from the other. So separates the coil from the clay backing. I have to use my clay tool. I like to use the flat side of my clay tool right here to pull that clay over the seam. Okay. So I am going to press down and out all the way down on both sides of this using this flat edge, pressing down and out. And then I'll share with you what it looks like from the side. Down and out, down and out, down and out. And that's called smoothing clay over the seam. Remember, we want the coils to bake as part of the game board and not break, not bake separately and pull apart, okay? So this is what this looks like from the side once I pulled down and out. So see how that line went away that separates the coil from the backing? That's exactly what you want. Um, see how it still exists on this side, okay? So I'm gonna pull clay down and out over that seam on that side in order to make sure it bakes together. Okay, so again, using the flat side of my green clay tool or gray clay tool, I'm gonna go ahead and press down and out all the way along. This creates what I call little baby bite marks because depending on what side of the tool you use, sometimes it, if you use the smaller edge, it creates like these little tiny chumps. And so, what I have right here is, um, that part doesn't look super great, but you can see how the line went away. Last part of my process to smooth it out, I pulled the clay down and out over the seam. If I need to add a little bit of water and my finger, I can definitely smooth out those marks, which can somewhat be, sometimes be um, not very well crafted. Okay, so this is gonna be how you attach your coils onto your game board. Um, let's say I attach, just for kicks, let's say I attach these coils here Okay, so I've got, I've score, slip, and smooth this on. These coils are now parallel to one another. How do I attach the ones that go the opposite way? I can cut this into sections and attach it separately. So one section here, okay, one section here. Okay, um, last section, let's say like right here. Okay, or I can take one coil that I have and make it go completely over top, okay? So it's really up to you how you attach those coils onto your game board, um, whether you cut them and fit them in or whether you put one on top of the other.